and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an at home workout. This is so overdue. Today we are going to focus on your legs and your booty. So get ready to sweat. I'm going to take you through a full warm up. We're going to do a 20 minute HIIT workout followed by a quick stretch and cool down. But please, if you feel that you have any injuries that you need to work on prior to this video, please make sure you do a thorough warm up before and a cool down after this session. So here is the structure of your workout today. We have two circuits and a finisher to do. So get ready to sweat, make sure you've got some water on hand. All you need is a mat and your body weight. And let's get cracking. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with our warm up. Stand at the end of your mat, okay? We're just going to take a nice big walk out into a plank position, drop the hips down, head goes back, push up into a downward dog, walk it back in. Gonna give me one more of those, walk it out, hips go down, head goes back, push up into a downward dog, big stretch into the other hips. And stand up again for me. Now this time, we're going to walk out into a plank. We're going to bring your left leg forward into a nice big lunge. I want you to turn, facing your leg, arm extend, reach around and back down. Swap the leg. I'm going to face away from you. Reach up. And bring that back hand down. Guess what? Walk those hands in. Stand up. Now we're warming up your hamstrings this way. Getting a nice big stretch into the glute as well because today we are focusing on the legs and the glutes. Reach up, good, walk in. We're going to do two more of those. Here we go, nice and quick now, walk out. In, stretch up, down, back, up, stretch, good. We're going to do one more. Here we go, last one. Walk it out, feet back full time. Nice, walk it up. Okay, so I want you to come to the middle of your mat. Just like I said, this is still your warm up, so into the middle of your mat. Nice big deep squat down, okay? I want you to really think about sitting into your heels, squeezing your butt, okay? We're gonna do eight more. One, eight, seven. Really think, sit into your heels, nice and close. Sit down, squeeze your bum, push yourself up. Here we go for five. Oh, you should feel it, it's starting to burn already. Squeeze your core as well. 
Feel that whole posterior change as your lower back, your butt, your hamstrings and your glutes working to drive you up. You've got four more. Three. Push for two. Last one. Swap sides. Here we go. Left leg. We go for ten. Nine. Squeeze that bum. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Squeeze your bum. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Up on your feet. Let's get going. Okay, so the first circuit in this workout is a hit circuit. We're jumping, we're moving, we're getting our heart rate up. We have four exercises and we complete the circuit two times. We are working for 40 seconds, resting for 20 seconds. So here are your four exercises. Exercise number one is 180 degree squat jumps. So start facing one way, you're gonna squat down as you jump up, you're gonna twist around and land the other way. Once again, landing into your heels, squeezing your butt, driving you around, okay? If you just want to stick to squat jumps, I'm cool with that. And we work up to those 180 degrees. Second exercise are full mountain climbers. Into a plank position similar to that warm up, we start with that big lunge position. Then we're gonna swap legs with a big jump, okay? And again, we change, change, change. Always landing in the heel, pushing through the heel. Exercise number three. This is gonna be tough, you need your mat for this. You're gonna squat down for me. We kneel on the floor, we kneel on the floor. We squat, we squat, we tuck jump. Kneel, kneel, up, up, tuck jump. Once again, if the tuck jump is too much, we focus on the kneeling squats. Final exercise in this circuit is an ice skating. So you start on your right leg, one leg off the floor. It's in a curtsy lunge behind you. You extend that left leg out, transfer the weight, and back over. And you use the opposite arm to drive you across. Okay team, 40 seconds on the clock, 20 seconds rest, two rounds. Let's do this. Once again, I'm using the app seconds, so listen out all the time. Are we going for three, two, one? One and two degree squat jump, let's do it. And twist, get nice and low. And low. And up. Really good. When we're digging in the heels, pushing off the ground with your whole foot. You have to land back into your heels. Stick your bum out to land into that squat. First 20 seconds. Come on, see? Let's do this. Remember, there are only two rounds of this circuit. So just go for it. Whew. Come on. One seven. The beauty of hip training, you do get a brief rest. Get your breath into that plank. Remember, one leg fully extended. Two, one, here we go. Change the leg, change the leg. Push, round push, here we go. Change, change. You should feel a nice big stretch into your hamstring, your glutes. Remember, flat foot, Here we go, change, and change. Come on, together, change, and change. Ha. It burns, but we got this for 10, nine, come on, together, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Woo. Yes, okay, deep breath. Make sure you have water on hand, guys. It's gonna get sweaty today. This first circuit is a challenge, but we only do these exercises twice. So we're already halfway through. Deep breath. Woo. Squat down for me. So we kneel, we kneel, we come back up to our squat, hands up, top jump. Kneel, kneel, squat, squat, and jump land in the squat. Back down to kneel. Up, up. Yes! Remember. If you're struggling with the tuck jump, take it out. Just give me a squat, squat, kneel, kneel. And use different legs to bring you back up. Here we go, up, up, jump. Good, back down. 
Here we go. And then you're already four minutes into your workout, into a 20 minute workout. So almost a quarter of the way. Three, two, one, here we go. Single leg, cancel down, and transfer. Jump to transfer, land on that heel. Push on that single leg, push it up and over. Good. Bend that leg you land into, into a lunge. Excellent. Keep going. Come on. Use the arms to drive. Honestly, strong arms. Good. That's it. Come on. And change. Keep that core tight. Change. Change. 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's do it. Go five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo. Okay, team. That is round one complete. Yes, okay. Round two. Those squat jumps. Deep breath in through the nose and breathe out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, squat down. Let's go. Round two. Come on, squat jump and change and change and change. Come on, change and change. Keep twisting. Use your heels, use your whole leg. Push your whole knee up in the air. Use the arms. Yes, come on, halfway, keep it going, woo, get it up, oh yeah, it burns, it burns all right, together we do this though, seven seconds, come on, half, four seconds, three, two, one more, oh, yes, woo, like I said, the burn is so real, but when we do stuff that challenges us, that is when our bodies respond and change and grow. So keep pushing today. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Big lunge forward and change. And change. And change. Remember, hand should be underneath your shoulders and your foot is coming to outside your hand. Woo. Big change, big change, use that floor. Yes, over halfway. Ah. 15 seconds. Woo, I'm getting sexy. Let's do this for 10. Come on, and again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Okay, deep breath, drink that. Water. Remember, we're into our kneeling tuck jumps. Okay, deep breaths. Woo. Let's do this, team. Squat down. We go kneel, kneel, squat, squat, big. Third, let's jump. jump. Now, if you're feeling strong with this one, go as hard as you can. Remember, we only do this circuit. Twice. So this is your last time to do this exercise. So reap the benefits. Let's go. Up, big jump. Yes. Left leg forward. Squat. Squat. Jump. Hey. Come on. Last one. Knees up. Down. Woo. Kneel. Kneel. Squat. Squat. Okay, team. One more exercise of the circuit before you get a drink and a little rest. Keep going, 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Whew. I'm feeling this, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it today. We're doing ice skating, let's go. Here we go, change. Use this arm, big and stride if you can, from one end of the mat to the other end. Dig that heel in, let's go. Yes, team. Come on, you keep that core tight. Strong back, strong arms. Let that whole body work. Here we go. Let's do it. 15 seconds. And then get your break. Come on. Change. Big change. Change. Come on, let's go. Dig that heel in. Dig that heel in. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Woo. Round one complete. Have your drink. So that was the main hit part 
of the workout. Now we're moving on to a stroke based section, okay? This time we're doing three exercises for three rounds. Same amount of time, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So we're really focusing on targeting the muscles and isolating the glutes, those hamstrings, and the legs in general. So, are you ready? Let me show you what we're doing. First exercise. First exercise. Get your butt on the floor. Once again, lying down into a glute bridge position. Remember, your feet are hand width apart from your butt cheek to your heel. Drive your hips up. You're going to go onto your heels, toes come off the floor. You're going to walk your feet out to their fully extended. So you're in a like, reverse plank. Then you walk your feet back in to your glutes. Then you walk out again. This is really good at challenging those hamstrings. Walk them out again. Fully extend the legs as much as you can and walk them in. We're going to do that for 40 seconds. Next up, we have the frog squat, okay? Now, this is really great for A, mobility, and B, for really fatiguing your legs and getting those legs to burn. So you're going to come into a nice, big squat position. You're going to squat down, your arms go inside the knee, hands together. You stay in this nice, low frog squat, and my elbows are pushing my knees out, okay? I stick my bum in the air, straighten my legs, and I go back down, to my squat position. So we go bum up in the air and down. Trust me, you are really going to feel that. And last but not least, in the straight circuit, once again, we're going back into that lovely squat hold that you love. So you're going to hold that squat, we do a curtsy lunge across, and then we come back to our squat, and we do another curtsy lunge across. And we alternate legs, but we keep our body nice and low, we keep the tension throughout the legs the whole time, through the heels and squeeze my glutes and my hamstrings. You are gonna feel it. Are we ready? 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, three exercises, three rounds. Let's get our glutes strong. On your backs, let's get going in three, two, into that glute bridge, one. Let's go, hips up, into that glute bridge, squeeze your butt, now fully extend the legs as far as you can, walk them out, and then walk them back in, squeeze that butt the whole time. Keep your hips up as high as you can, Feel those hamstrings and the backs of your legs kicking in and walk those heels back in. Remember, just on your heels. Walk it out. Woo, walk it in. Yes, the smaller steps you take, the harder it is. Doesn't matter how many you do, think about the quality of the movement. Keep walking out. Here we go. Walk it out. Fully extend. Walk it in. Last one. Walk it out. And relax. Into your frog squat position. Let's get low. Squat down, bum up in the air, and back down. Nice flat back position. Try and keep those shoulders back and your chest up in that squat. I don't want any curved spines. I don't want this. I want flat back. Bum up in the air. Control it down. Really flat back. Keep that tension up in that squat position. Nice strong back. Good. Now dig those heels in. Push those elbows out. Oh, who can feel this? The burn is so real. 10 more seconds. We got this. Woo. Let's go. Five, come on, bum up in the air. Control down and push. Up. Ah. Yes. Remember this time we're going into a squat, into a curtsy lunge. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Squat hold, curtsy lunge. Good. Now drive through that front heel and that curtsy lunge. Squat nice and low. Good. Now slow and controlled with this one. It's not about pace, it's about control. You should feel, because your legs and your glutes should be so activated and so awoken, this should really burn. You should be feeling this. This is, should be the finisher of this circuit. Good. Just nice and slow and controlled. Keeping that tension through the glutes and the hamstrings. Seven seconds, here we go, one more on each side. Left leg back, good. Back to squat and relax. Okay, that was round one. We have two more rounds to go. Deep breath on the floor, back into that, uh, back into your blue bridge. Four, here we go. In five, lie here, because you can. Three, two, one. Box up in the air, hips up if you like. Two. I like to put my hands around my hips to make me think about keeping my hips up. Keep walking the heels 
that, heels then move. Extend the legs, walk it back in. Really good, walk it out. Good, try and get the legs out as far as you can. Feel those hamstrings working and bring them back in. Let's go, let's go team. So good today, staying strong. Should really feel the burn now. Walk it out. I'm, who else is staying on the sweat? I'm so sweaty today. Keep going. We got this for five seconds. Walk it out. Three, two, one. Squeeze that bar and control it down. So good. Frog squats. Let's get back up on our feet. Oh, I tell you what, when I film these videos, I get so disheveled. But I know that you guys are going to be in the same boat at home. So who am I kidding? I'm a sweaty trainer. Let's get one. Squat down, bum up in the air, and back down. Nice flat back position. Try and keep your shoulders back and your chest up in that squat. I don't want any curved spine. I don't want this. I want flat back. Bum up in the air. Control it down. Really flat back. Keep that tension up in that squat position. Nice strong back. Good. Now dig those heels in. Push those elbows out. Oh, who can feel this? The burn is so real. 10 more seconds. We got this. Woo. Let's go. Five. Come on. Five in the air. Control down and push. Up. Ah. Yes. Woo. That is tough. That is so tough. How are you feeling at home? One more exercise before we end round two. Deep breaths. We're going to squat down. We're going to do our slow curtsy lunges. Really focusing on driving through those heels. Three, two, one, let's go. Curtsy lunge, keep in that squat. If you want to keep your hands in front, do so. It really helps me just maintain my form, focus on my core. Good, squeeze, dig that heel in. It's all about heel, transferring to my left heel, digging in. As my leg extends back, I push that left heel again. You should feel a nice big extension in your glute as well. In that curtsy lunge, you should feel a big pull to the back of our boot. Keep it going, we've got 10 seconds. Good, I want three more. Come on, two more. Get nice and low. Last one. Lunge. Boom! Okay, we have one more round of this circuit to go. How are you feeling? I'm going to grab some water. Like I said, the sweat is really kicking in now. Mm. Okay, team. We go back on the floor, we go in four, three, two, one, hamstring walkouts, let's go. Walk it out. Now with this one, now we should have the technique a bit better. Let's walk out a little bit quicker. Let's go, walk it out. Walk it in. Walk it out. Good, walk it in. Keep your glutes tense throughout. Do not let the tension go from the butt cheeks. I want to see dimples in your butt cheeks and I do not want them to go. Keep it there, keep those hips up. Your hips do not drop. Extend the legs, come on. Let's do this. Last time on this exercise. Extend the legs, bring them in. Yes. Oh yes. Okay, into those progress for the last time. This is probably the most painful one for me in this circuit. I'm quite happy it's the last time. Deep breath, but remember, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, if it's a challenge for you, it probably means you should be doing it. Here we go, get low. Let's go. Chest up. Sit that bum up in the air. Control it back down and push. We're going to try and get a nice amount of reps in now. I want to get to 10 at least. That's number four. Five. Squeeze those heels down. Six. Here we go. Nice flat back. Seven. Yes, we're going to get more than 10. Eight. Nine. Come on, keep it up. Squeeze up. Ten. Okay. Who's got the five with me? Five. Hop. Four. Come on. Three. Let's go. Last two. Ha. Last one. Oh. Whew. We did it. We did it. Yes. Okay. Hardest one is over. We're going to stay low in that squat into those curtain lunges. You've got ten seconds to breathe. Take this moment to breathe. And then we're on to our finisher. This is five by today. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Get in that squat. Let's hurt the lunge, people. Yes. Nice and low. Big lunge back. So I don't want your back knee to go on, go on the floor. 
it can be like half an inch above the floor. Because I want you to keep tension in your legs the whole time. I don't ever want you to break the tension in these exercises. Good, get that heel in. Keep that core tight. We keep transferring. We've got 12 seconds left to go. We're gonna smash it for 10. Get low for nine, come on. Get low, five, four, three, two, get low. Boom. Yes, okay, that is your second circuit complete. Now we just have the finisher to go. Let me explain to you while you have a drink what we're gonna do. So for our finisher, we are going to be doing a pyramid set to finish. That means we start with high reps and we reduce the reps each round. These are your two exercises. We're going to reduce the reps each round. Watch me. Exercise number one. We do 12 jumping lunges. Okay, so two, legs bent, transfer the weight, top side. We do 12 of those, okay? Then we go into a plank position on our mat. We do 12 planks to squat. So you hold your plank here, you jump to your squat position. Sit nice and low, clap your hands if you want. Go back down. Back in, up, down, in. You get the picture. We do 12 for the first round, eight for the second round, and four for the last round. Back to back, no rest, as quick as you can. I'm with you, we don't need a timer. Deep breath, we're gonna go in five, four. Get in that lunge position. Three, two, and one. 12 jumping lunge, we go one, two, Good, keep going for three. Just let your head be heavy. 
Let your body be heavy for two, one. You're going to tuck your right heel into your left hip flexor. You're going to do a pigeon stretch. You're going to take your back knee off the floor. You're going to sink your hips down. You're going to try and keep your knee at the right angle as much as possible on that front leg. Back leg straight. If you can, go into your forearms. Just let your body be heavy once again. Relax into it. Fully extend the arms if you can, let your head be heavy again. We're going to hold it for three, get lower, breathe out for two, sink into it for one. Very nice. I want you to come back into that nice forward lunge for me. You're going to face forward or lengthways on your mat, and you're going to have this open lunge position. We're going to transfer to the other side, just a nice big stretch in your hip flexors there. You're going to go to a lunge. On the other side, so left leg forward this time, and I'm going to fully let your hip drop, let your head be heavy, elbows go down, breathing into it, get nice and low, good, and tuck that left heel under your leg, really nice, fully extend the knee off the floor, let your hips be heavy, feel a big stretch in that glute, oh it should feel good. Let the elbows go down. Whew, breathe out, just keep relaxing. The more you can relax, the more your muscles will stretch and you'll feel better tomorrow. Fully extend those arms if you can. Really good, three, two, one. Ready? Really nice, back up into that, that lunge position. Gonna go back into that middle position. We're gonna do a really big deep plie squat, hands in the middle. Fully extend the legs so you're Bend over in half. Good, you're going to reach over to your left leg. Pull your body in, feel the stretch into your hamstring. Pull, three, two, one. Swap to the other side. Pull it for three, two, one. Hands in the middle. Walk your hands in so they are hip width apart. Keep that body flopped over for me. Really good. Now we slowly roll up through the spine. Keep that's it, keep the chin down for as long as possible. It's the last thing to come out, we're off the spine. Good team. Very nice, give yourselves a hello round of applause. Well done, thank you so much for working out with me at home today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, give me a sweaty comment below and let me know what you thought of today's workout and let me know what home workout you want to see next because I want to keep doing these for you. Thank you for watching, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!